Okay, we are going to do question 15 in this video. Question 15 says the sum of the first 8 terms of an AP is 100. So let's write it out. S8 is 100. And the sum of the next 4 terms is 122. So you have learned how to find next 4 terms, right, earlier on. Now, uh, I know that the sum of the next 4 terms, that means the first 8 terms, then the sum of the next four term will be the ninth term. So um, right, let's write it over here. Um, this is A. And continue on until this. This would be T8. Right? So then the next four term would be T9, T10, and T11. That's 3 uni, right? And T12, right? So that would be, this would be the next four term. The next four terms. So can you see very clearly, how do I get uh, T9, T10, T11, and T12? How do I get the sum of this? By getting S12, S12 is the entire thing, minus with S8. Right, then would me leave me with this. Yeah, okay. So if you're stuck in exam, then I suggest you draw out the AP. You don't know the numbers, doesn't matter, just draw boxes. Yeah, so, uh, but if you're not stuck and if you can do it without drawing it out, that would be great. Okay, right, so let's, uh, let's continue to form your equation from here. Um, it says S12 is 122, or not S12, the sum of the next four term. So that means the second equation would be S12 minus S8. That will be this 4, which is 122. Alright? Okay, so now S8 is 100. We're going to form the equation here, yeah? S8 is 100. That is 8 over 2. Um, well, you're asked to find A and D, right? So same thing here. 2A plus N minus 1 is 7D is equals to 100. 2A plus 7D would equals to 100 divided by 4 is 25. Okay, so that's one equation and we're going to leave it here and we tackle the other equation. S12 is 12 over 2. 2A is unknown plus N minus 1. N is 12, so that gives you 11D. Now, please don't do this, yeah? Don't do 8 over 2, 2A plus 7D, blah, blah, okay? That's because S8 is already 100. So just put in 100. Yeah, because they say S8 is 100, so S8 is 100. So that's easy, isn't it? So that will be 6. 2a plus 11d, and I'm going to shift this over, so that becomes 2, 2, 2. Alright, so now simplify further. Before you do the equation, you always try to simplify. So I know that 2, 2, 2 can be divided by 6. Of course, I tried it with a calculator. <laughs> Alright, so 2, 2, 2 divided by 6 gives you 37. So now, isn't this a much simpler way to do? Okay, so uh, equation 1. And equation 2, let's do elimination because there's a 2A and a 2A there. So let's put uh, this, uh, well, let's put this here, yeah? So 2A plus 11D is equals to 37, which is your equation number 2. And now we shall eliminate using 2 to minus 1. Again, why? Because 2 is bigger than 1, so it's easier to minus. You don't get a negative. 2A minus 2A, no more. 11 minus 7 is 4D. And 37 minus 25 is 12, so D is 3. Alright, D is 3, and now you have to find your A, and I'm going to substitute A into equation number 1, because it's a smaller number. So 2A plus 7, D is 3, is equals to 25. So 2A is equals to 25 minus 21 is 4, and A is equals to 2. A is equals to 2, so D is 3, A is 2. And we are done with 15A. Okay, that's 15A. Let's put an A here. <laughs> Alright, and 15B. 15B says, find the first five terms of the pro progression. The first five terms, remember this? You have A, you don't know A. Well, you know now because you found A. First five terms, so you're supposed to look for T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. Just list them out. You're not adding, yeah? Not the sum, yeah? Find the first five terms. So l that's that's fairly easy. I'm going to write it over here, 15B. The first term is 2, right? And what is the D? The D is 3. So just add 3 to it. So that's 5. Add 3 to it is 8. Add 3 to it is 11. And 14. That's it. The first five terms. 
Okay, simple, yeah, for 15. All right, let's have a look at question 16 over here. Question 16 says, in an AP, the first term is A, so let's write it out. A is 8, and the last term is 78. Now, normally, when you see these, uh, the thing that comes to your mind should be the formula. Remember the formula n over 2a plus l for sn. Remember I told you there's another formula for sn other than the normal one that you use. When you see these, you, you, I, would, I would think that you will need to use that formula because they give you the last term. Okay, let's continue. If the sum of these terms is 6, 4, 5, how many terms are there? Exactly what I said, you need to use that formula. Now, given to you, Sn, right? Sn is given to you. So, let's write Sn is 645. You are looking for what? How many terms? That means you're looking for N. Alright, you're looking for N. So, let's use the formula because you don't have D. Yeah? You don't have D, so you cannot use your normal Sn formula. Yeah, the 2A, the N over 2, 2A thing. You cannot use that. So, you've got to use Sn equals to N over 2 a plus L, yeah, the formula. So, sum of the n term is 645. n is unknown, you're looking for n. a is 8 and L is 78. Okay, solve this and you would find your answer. So, that is uh, 645, shift the 2 over, so times 2. That would equal to 8 plus 78, right? So, 8 plus 78 is 86 equals to n times 86. So n is 645 times 2 divided by 86, that is 15. Okay, simple, yeah, for question 16. You just have to know about this formula. Some books actually skip this formula. I mean, I've seen it in some books, they don't have this formula, yeah? So, uh, it's actually a disadvantage if you don't know, sometimes the question will require you to use this. Alright? Okay, uh, let's have a look at question 18. Let's have a look at question 18. Question 18 says, given that the sum of the first n terms of an AP 8, 11, and 14, and so forth, and it is given that Sn is 294. So again, another question to find n. However, in this case, you're not given the last term. You have a series of progression. So that means you can have your A and you have your D, which is 3, right? So that means you use the normal Sn formula to form your equation to find n. Again, you're looking for n. Alright, so that would be n over 2. 2A two is 8 plus n minus 1 you don't know and d is 3 is equals to 294 okay so now it's just a bit lengthy so be very careful so this is n over 2 that is 16 plus 3n minus 3 equals to 294 now i would shift the 2 over then that would give you n 16 minus 3 is 13 plus 3n, and that is equals to 5, 8, 8, right? So now shift everything over because you will have a quadratic equation. Uh, I can see that this is 3n square, 3n square plus 13n minus 588. So now equals to 0, yeah? All right. So, here is when you have to factorize. This is a quadratic equation. You will end up with quadratic equation uh, in this kind of question. Yeah? So, you will, get, you will get two values of n. Normally, one of them will be a negative, one of them will be a positive. And negative is unacceptable because there is no negative number of terms. You know, you have 10 terms, 20 terms, 15 terms. You cannot have negative 10 terms, right? That's not possible. Okay, so here's when you have to use your calculator. Now, I know some students, right, they don't know how to use the calculator to factorize. And uh, they do it manually. But when you're doing this kind of question, the number is 588. It's so big. And it's, it's a bit difficult for you to do manually, yeah? So use the calculator. Um, you will get n is 12 or n is negative uh, 49 over 3. So reverse it. That gives you n minus 12 and 3n plus 49 
Okay, so now n has to be 12 because it cannot be negative, right? So therefore, you may pick this and say n is 12 and this is unacceptable. Or you can write rejected, doesn't matter. Okay, n is 12. Right, that's it for question. Uh, sorry, it's not question 18, right? It's actually question 17, I'm sorry. It's my mistake here. It's question 17, I'm looking at the wrong one. Alright, okay, so I will see you in the next video for question 18, which is an SPM question. Okay, an SPM question, I'll see you in the next video.